Well, there's no traffic. <laughs> there's no traffic and it's, it's peaceful out here. Uh, a lot of fresh air. There's times it's hectic because, you know, you have your schedule set up and first thing you know, something breaks down and you gotta work through that. But that's normal. That's normal human life. We get to enjoy the smells of nature. We don't have city smog. We don't deal with any of that. So much so that when you're on the farm and then you go to town and you see everyone with the masks and oh yes, there is something else going on in life. You forget your mask, you know. <laughs> you forget about the, oh yes, I gotta have a mask here, you know. <laughs> you just don't think about those kind of things as much. I just love working with nature, working with animals, and working with the soil. It's, it's quite gratifying because that animal loves you and you love that animal. And in, in that environment, they can produce their max quality, quantity. When they feel that love, it's a, it's a very healthy environment. They say the more she chews her cud, and the more she lays down, the more relaxed they are, the more milk they can give. <laughs> we actually went to the same school together, so we were acquainted with each other, but it was at a farm sale where he really asked me, and it blossomed from there, and we got married five years later. Come on, let's go. For the first eight years, we farmed our own farm in Pennsylvania and had four children before we moved west. It's in our blood, and that, not just us, but our grandparents, our great-grandparents. It might even been our great-great-grandparents were all dairy farmers. Mm -hmm. So it come from way back. We were raised without TV, raised without radio. Uh, work was our recreation. It was ingrained into us to do a good job of whatever we did, put our whole heart into our work. And my children, that's in them too. When we moved here, four of them were already married. 10 total, there's six married and four at home. Jessica, Jenny, Jalen, Joylin, Justin, Joanna, and it's Joshua, J. Reed, Jesse, and Jibu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, it's, it's, it's awesome. Especially the, among the, the grandchildren. We have number 14 on the way now. They come in, you know, with their hands up in the air, yelling, Paw Paw, you know. They, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just tremendous. I have a very strong family tie. That's just the most important on this earth to us. There's one girl, Jubilee, and three boys, Joshua, Jared, and Jesse, are still here yet. I try to get out there around 3.30, and then I have like 30 minutes to prep everything up, sanitize the pipelines, make sure everything's set up okay. The main thing is to have a setup that is approved by the state. You gotta get it certified with the state and to make sure that they approve of it. The state will test like once a month. For coliform, that tells them how clean our milk is. We test on the farm also for coliform and E. coli and uh, we keep it a zero. Every milk tank full, we test it. Well, we're, we brought in the cows and we're milking them. Uh, we'll milk them all and we just feed them all through. I think we're milking about 43 right now. Every morning and every evening at uh, four o'clock. So we get up at about 3.30, get out here and we'll do the feeding. Jesse and dad usually work at the milking. We make sure the udders are totally clean. We have a sanitizing soap mix I use and you wash the udder off completely and then let it dry. And once it dries, there's no bacteria there whatsoever.
whatever projects we've got around the farm for the day, we'll work at that, and then four o'clock in the evening, we'll do all the chores again. You get used to it after a while. We still have some times where we get out a little late, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really nice just to be able to work with my family. It's fun to be working with my brothers and doing farming and outdoor stuff. That's what I like to do, so everybody can work together and do what needs to be done. And then uh, once we're all finished, then we wash everything down, wash all the pipelines, sanitize all the pipelines. We do that after each milking. We have about 425 chicks that we're raising and a flock of about 65 chickens. If I have extra eggs that the customers don't buy here at the farm, I take them to my little Bisbee market and sell them there. And this summer we hope to have eggs for all of our milk customers. We'll take eggs with us on all our deliveries. We keep coming back because honestly it's the best milk we've found for our family ever. Um, it's, got, it's so creamy, it's full of nutrients. They are such an amazing family. They let us, they invited us out to their farm. We brought the whole family and they spent hours like showing us their animals and how they bottle and produce the milk and we got to, the kids got to play with their daughter Jubilee. It was just, we had such a blast. It was so fun. Today I got six half gallons of milk and their butter. They just started selling their homemade butter. So it's, it's pretty special. When we hear others saying how it blesses them, that just makes it uh, entirely worthwhile for what we're doing. We're blessed. Hence the Golden Rule Dairy name. We treat, we like to treat others as we are being treated. Mom's a good cook. I mean, she makes butter, yogurt, ice cream, tons of ice cream. We're eating ice cream all the time. <laughs> Probably a little spoiled, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's good stuff. Who's that there? Jay. In that way? Okay. Since we started, we've always prayed before we bottled the milk. We also pray that it blesses the people who drink it, and it's a good feeling, you know, to be making good food for other people. I think that God's blessing is in the milk for sure. What thrills my heart is to see my boys learn how to get up 3 o'clock in the morning, every morning, and feel the responsibility to get up and get the chores done and get them done correctly and make sure the cows are all fed right. And sometimes, me as a dad, I get up tight and my boys say, hey dad, it's okay, you know. They help me out too. <laughs> it doesn't do it go just one way, it's both ways. I learn a lot from my children. And the main thing is that we have love for each other.